this is priya from united arab emirates we are talking to her about uh, our series on women in society priya tell us my opinion on what like just generally or on, on anything on about the women uh, their empowerment uh, issues their conditions in the society in dubai or in arab world well in arab world uh, in dubai it's actually quite all right it's not so bad in the sense that it um it's more of th there is sexism for sure uh in the workplace it uh does exist i come from a um marketing and agency background so definitely sexism in uh, workplace uh exists all over it exists in business school it exists in um in an office and basically everywhere you go so it just depends on how uh how strong you are about it and how you can uh, basically put your foot down and deal with it so yeah pretty much <laughs> i don't know what to say <laughs> that's okay yeah But I mean, if you can ask me a question, I can probably tell you that. I'll ask questions. So, what has changed around you since your childhood uh, about uh, improvement in the conditions and empowerment issues of women socially and in the families and at workplace? Uh, I think uh, over the years it has definitely improved. Uh, women are definitely getting a lot more um uh they they have an opportunity to actually voice their opinions uh in as opposed to maybe my mom's generation where it was harder for uh women to continue working after they were married or even the pressures of you know getting married too soon and following your career but uh those kind of things have definitely uh uh are more positive now um as opposed to maybe say 20 30 years ago including in the arab world including in the arab world yes uh well maybe uh, when i say dubai dubai is a lot more cosmopolitan it's a lot more open so you do see a lot more women working um it will always be male dominated so there is no question about that but i think as you you do see a lot more women in their 30s 40s 50s still working still uh at the peak of their careers and uh in powerful roles in the workplace so definitely you do see that in dubai now um yeah dubai in fact is a uh, exception the gulf countries because uh, uh immigrants are far too many yeah and uh, there is a marked uh, uh separation between the original inhabitants the arabs and the immigrants so yeah so of course the outgoing people and uh, working with all kinds of um, jobs uh, will be the not necessarily the arab women, women. uh not necessarily yeah i mean if you're talking about the local women not necessarily it is increased but not to an extent that it probably could um there are a lot of uh, actually there has been a big rise in uh a lot of women going into dentistry and going into more professional streams in uh in the gulf uh on the whole uh dubai is definitely an exception places like kuwait and saudi and uh, uh bar well bahrain is a little more open but kuwait saudi qatar uh which are the bigger countries in the gulf states uh it's harder for women to actually come up and because it, like even basic things that like you cannot travel without the consent of your father if you're unmarried or um the consent of your husband if you're married so things like that do still exist um obviously women still can't drive in saudi so overall on in the gulf 
maybe not. Dubai, you're right, it is because it's a melting pot and there are probably a lot more foreigners uh, working rather than the locals. The um, ethnic Arabs, do they consider uh, still uh, boys as a preferred child? I would like to say yes, uh, I would, but uh, I think it it's slowly, it, 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 the, the families are modernizing in a sense, like people are getting, they are sending their kids to school and, you know, study abroad because obviously the options in the state, Gulf are limited as well. So that stigma is kind of disappearing slowly but not as fast as it probably should but definitely uh, the male figures are always on the front line rather than the women the domestic violence part is it uh, or it is receding or it is the same uh, or selectively improving well, uh, the, you know, the Arab culture is a lot like the Indian culture. It's everything is behind closed doors, especially in the Gulf region. A lot of things are not reported because the region is trying to make, um, you know, itself look like, especially places like Dubai and Qatar where they're coming into the limelight on a global scale. It's uh, very hard for them to actually, a lot of things are not reported. So, I'm sure it does exist, but it's all behind closed doors. Um, it will be hard to comment whether it's gone up or down, but uh, it's unfortunately it's a lot like Indian culture, very, very closed. How about property rights to women? Property rights, uh, from what I know, it, uh, it's still a very small percentage is given to women. Uh, as in passed down from uh, from the father or from your parents, it's a very small percentage. I believe it's only about fifteen or twenty percent that is given to the girl child as opposed to the male child. Did you notice around you some distinct disadvantages of being uh, uh, a girl child? Uh, in my family. In your family around you? Um, well, not not particularly. No, in my family, it was harder for me to come. Uh, it was harder for me to like go abroad and study um, because it was it, it was it was important for my parents to get married. Those restrictions didn't apply to my brother, so those things do you know, in in, the, in that sense. Yes. But other, other than that, we've been, like, both me and my brother have been raised pretty much equally and uh, with the exact same rules and exact same values, so not, not other than that. And workplace, I mean, I actually worked in marketing, which was more female-dominated, so I didn't really notice that. It was more women in power anyway, so it didn't really matter, not in the world. Where would you like to see the women's uh, position in the society and the family in the next 20 years? In the next 20 years, I think um, a lot more women heading companies in terms of um, in terms of the corporate world, uh, a lot more female politicians as well making decisions and being treated equally really. Um, so um, th there shouldn't be, I think, I don't think, I think we're past that stage where we need to even be talking about women and men being equal and I personally think it's quite ridiculous that in this day and age that we actually need to talk about issues like that because it should be something that people, it should come naturally, there's no reason for that discrimination to still be there. Did you... Um notice or observe that uh, most of the household in the families where the mindsets are framed among the children for uh, uh, the larger part of their life, the imprints remain primarily 
that's where uh, I thought the women rule the households. So how come this uh, mindset of the people uh, becomes uh, male dominated somehow? Women do rule the households, yes, but it might be um, something that's passed down to us from generations and I think uh, we do like to hold on to our roots as a species, so maybe that's one of the reasons. Um, another one could be women are, you know, primarily uh, caretakers or, you know, they, they're given the role of the caretakers as per society. And uh, and maybe that's you know that that's one thing that the the, the breadwinner is the man. So um, those kind of things have, have have been passed down, and not sure why exactly, but maybe it's because women can have kids. I don't know. <laughs> not any longer. Even now, uh, even the women are bread earners, and they come home, and then they do do the they develop stay. as the lady of the house and uh, their, their opinions matter for instilling the value system among the children yeah. but why is it uh, they feel shy in uh, promoting their own cause at least for the next generation uh, is uh, directly i think it, it it will take time in the sense that it is it's not it's something that we've we've held on to for many 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 generations so Maybe it's that, I have no idea why, but it's not something I agree with personally. Yeah, I, I, I see the reasoning because uh, the um, social changes are slower than the slow pace of any, any changes. Yeah. So they take generations, but uh, I personally feel that it's time for women to get up front, uh, to not just to encourage, but to uh, change the mindset of their uh, uh, male children so that when they grow up in the society, have their families, they are different people. Hopefully that will be our generation to change it. <laughs> so, <laughs> one can hope. <laughs> okay Priya, one last question. Yes. If you want to have two children, if both are girls, would you go for a third one, a boy? Not at all. I want it, if I ever have children, I want one child and I want it to be a girl. Okay, good. That's, that sounds great. So, we will, um, we will lose the advantage of one mom uh, not uh, inculcating the <laughs> egalitarian views in a boy. Uh, that's fine. So, I'll just teach my daughter to stand up for herself. And also, not only does the family, the most of the schools, the yeah. teachers are all women. Yeah, absolutely. Most of them are women. So absolutely. how come the value system is not uh, coming into harmony? That, that, that's the thing. I think it's, it's uh, it'll probably, I think the, the awareness has started quite recently and uh, we can hope that it will be this generation forward that things start changing and like you said social changes are slower and hopefully in the next 8, 10, 15 years we will like this is not something that we will even hopefully have to ever talk about again. Do you see a marked difference in the European society in this regard or it is or the here also it's superficial and uh, beneath the uh, uh, clouds, there is the same water. Um, I have found that uh, European women, uh, Americans, Latin Americans, even are a lot, a uh, lot more open to voicing their opinions, um, and uh, so they they do find sexism a little alarming. And whereas in the East and uh, the Asian culture and Middle East, it's more widely acceptable um, and it's, it's more widely accepted actually. Um, so people don't really, maybe women from the Eastern uh, world don't actually react as strongly to sexism uh, 
as a European uh, woman would or a Latin American or an American would because I think that has they're a lot more stronger and more opinionated. Except the East European ones. Uh, well, yeah, I guess anything East. <laughs> All right, thank you, Priya, for your views. Uh, we hope uh, people will find them. Uh, it, it will uh, bring some questions in their minds, and uh, the, those questions will ultimately be the larger questions for the society, and uh, it would give some positive contribution towards the. Equal world, one world, Hopefully. global world. <laughs> we can hope. Thank you, and all, right, all the best. You. Thank you.